This book drive is, we are our fourth year doing this, but this year because of a drive that I had internally thinking about the blessings that have fallen upon me and where it stemmed from it, and it really stemmed from the education insisted upon by my mother, insisted upon. The only cardinal rule that I could have broken and there were sanctions. And I just decided I will ramp it up a little. Normally we'll do about six, eight, this 800, this year I'm doing 2,000, and I'm doing quality stuff for the children of Port of Spain South. And this is out of pocket or out of the, the MP's office? The MP's office does not have a pocket, so it is with the help of um, corporate sponsorship, and I really want to um, compliment New Core, I want to compliment um, John Dickerson, who I work with, you can see that they brought the, um, the flavor right, and myself, that is how it is. But it is what it is and we have to do it. As minister in the Ministry of National Security, this is a part of our holistic approach. I would want to think that if the children of the constituency, they are at school and they're learning the proper things, then they are able, they are able to understand for themselves that there's a better a life ahead. And, and, and when I say the proper things, I, I want to do a little segue on, 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 on this. In my mind, in my mind, for 50 years, I know the Santa Maria, the Pinta, the Nina. I don't know about, I didn't know before I started to read about Kwame Toure, about Leston Paul, about Spree Simon, about George Padmore. I want the learning to be very relevant to life. And as I enter the national conversation on topical issues, I want to hear a little more about George Padmore. I want to hear a little more about Marcus Garvey. I want to hear a little more about the people who helped us, Arthur Supriani, Uriah Buzz Butler, you know, Badis Mirage. These are people who formed our history and not just the Santa Maria, the Pinta, and the Nina. Thank you. As, as you mentioned that, are you then advocating or is it part of the government's advocation to change the curriculum in terms of education? Part of it has to be, and I cannot speak for the Honorable Minister of Education, but part of it for my edification and for the constituency of Port of Spain South, who, you know, has given me this privilege, I want them to be more aware of the history that informs them and their icons who are still alive. O Lovelace, O Lovelace, the dragon, he has a book called Salt. We need to read it, it's just a movie. I want that education to spread and that is my message. And that is why I recall, and it's not the first time, it's etched in my mind, you know, the Santa Maria, the Pinta, and the Nina. What about George Padmore? What about Kwame Toure? You understand? That's my, and that's my view, and that's what I want to spread. And as MP, how are you planning to go about doing that? We have a series of programs that I, we want to begin and partner with um, civil society. And we intend to start that as soon as we get fully settled in the Ministry of National Security, which we are now. We, there's, no, there's no gestation period. And I want to merge that with what I do. And when I see people during the week, we want to have a program. I'm working with my counselor, um, with my, the welfare officer, sorry, Mrs. De Pisa, and we are trying to merge that in a program for the children, a program of education, which will be at the homework centers. And any idea how soon this would be rolled out? I am beginning to, we are trying to man the homework centers with certain devices and certain um, apparati, which will enable us to do it virtual. Once that happens, I intend to roll it out and use members of the community whose names I will not want to call now, but they've reached out to me already. And I intend to utilize their experience and their services. People like Pelham Goddard, Mr. Ray Holman, you know, the, the Earl, Earl Lovelace for sure. Earl turns 90 next year. We have to preserve him. But these are people who are on board with this program. And what do you see as the short-term and long-term benefits of this? The short-term benefits of this will be that there will be no child in this community of Port of Spain South 
who has to go back out to school and does not have their school bags and stationery, that short-term goal in and of itself, I think that I would have won one if I can ensure that as far as I can. And the long-term long goal would be a better informed national conversation with a consciousness of our history and the entire history. So I'm not saying that the entire history does not include the Santa Maria, the Pinta, and the Nina, but it must also include George Padmore. It must also include Kwame Toure. It must also include Marcus Garvey. It, you know, up, up there, it must include Maurice Bishop. It must. So, MP, uh, given your successes, and the, your role in government and also member of parliament and uh, your constituents. Uh, given everything that you've gone through, your successes, your history, your career, what is the message that you would send to not just only your constituents but to the national school public? I, 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 have, I have two four-letter words, hard work, and I have a message for the fathers. I want the fathers in Port of Spain South to step up. Step up to the plate. Do not let, again, part of my education. There's a book by Lowenthal and Clark called My Mother Who Fathered Me. We want to change that narrative. You must read that book sometimes. My Mother Who Fathered Me. Law sort of took me away from my intellectual endeavors. But before I did law, I, I was on the way to being a, a decent, <laughs> well rounded person. And then, you know, but. Lowenthal and Clark, there's a book called My Mother Who Fathered Me. It's a seminal work. I think I, I would really want the fathers to step up because you look at those children outside, they're not criminals, they're good people. And once we give them a start, I hope that that start propels them to greater things. And how are you planning to put that as well into your, your ministry, Minister of we, we, there, there, there will be two approaches. There will be an approach for the innocents, and there'll be an approach for those who are hell-bent on taking our society down a road that we don't want to go down.